But it's good. Listen, you clicked on this video because you suffer with the two worst problems of life. You suffer from fear and self-doubt. You feel as if you are unable to put forth the reality that you so-called desire into creation. You feel as if the whole world is against you and every single time you try something, you reach a standstill or it just gets too hard or challenging and then you end up quitting or failing. You feel as if every single time you try something, you reach a standstill or there's always something to screw it up or just make it too hard and stressful. Then you just end up giving up. You just want to quit, you just hit the quit button. Then once you fail, you come to the realization as maybe this wasn't the path for me or maybe I just wasn't cut out for this. Maybe I just couldn't do it. Maybe this wasn't meant for me. If this is going on in your life, you have to understand that you have to destroy all excuses. What you have to understand is we choose what holds us back and what moves us forward. There is no such thing as a limitation. No matter the circumstance or the situation, we are the only ones that hold ourselves back. And we are doing so when we are in fear and in constant self-doubt. You have to remember that fear is an illusion. You are scared of what you think might happen in the future. You cannot control what happens in the future. You're trying to control the uncontrollable. This creates anxiety, which further leads to panic. And it is in these moments that secure the subconscious foundation of one's reality. We create our own reality. In a sense, we depict the experience we are having based on what we believe and accept in this current moment. We depict the experience we're having based off of what we believe and accept to be true. And it is not only this that justifies how you think of yourself, but how others around you perceive you. If you can picture it, it is possible. If you want to achieve set goal, you must set intention on one's thoughts. And it is in this action that you will manifest the reality that you desire. So use your imagination and trust in your creativity because you must believe in your ability to put forth your thoughts into creation. And remember, nobody on this earth is made exactly the same. That means you have something to offer to the world that nobody else has. So stop bitching, because if what you wanted was just handed to you, then you wouldn't know how to appreciate. That is why life throws us these battles to overcome. So when we accomplish that goal with hard work, we fully understand the sensation of victory and success. So you have to ask yourself, how bad do you really want it? Because if you just give up after every single battle, that you don't want it like you say you do. Because it is these battles that will depict how much effort you are willing to put forth to accomplish set goal. You will never know the true taste of victory unless you know the bitter taste of defeat. And some of you know this, but still quit anyway because you're too scared to even try. Like nigga, what? <laughs> you haven't even tried yet. You don't even know what might happen. This is why fear is corrupted inside of you. Fear is an illusion. You are scared of what you think might happen in the future. You cannot control what happens. So you might as well live life to the fullest and just put yourself out there not thinking about the outcome because you have no control over the outcome. Yeah, you could think of outcomes. You could predict, but you still have no control of the true essence of what might happen. They say that curiosity killed the cat. But they also say that cats have nine lives. There is true potential within all who watch this. You just have to believe in one's ability. You have to believe in oneself. But your thoughts play a crucial role in this. You have to understand that the universe is always in your favor. So if you have the constant thought of you are not good enough, then that is the experience the universe will give you. If you have the thoughts of the, world, the whole world is against me, then that is the experience the universe will give you. It is crucial to lose that loser mindset and that failure mentality because your thoughts depict who you are. So you have to tell yourself you love yourself. You have to tell yourself that you believe in yourself, that you believe that you have the ability to put forth the reality that you desire into creation. So again, ask yourself this question every single time you think you're about to give up. How bad do you really want it? Like, come on. Because I remember when I was jogging with my friend and he really wants to lose weight. I was kind of being his coach or whatever. And we were running. I asked him, come on, why do you keep stopping? How bad do you want this, Devin? You say you really want it. How bad do you want this? And he was like that. And then as soon as I said that, he just started moving. 
you have to ask yourself, how bad do you really want it? Because it's not going to be easy. Yes, you can do it. It will be hard, yeah, but you can still do it. But you have to ask yourself, how bad do you really want it? Because if you just give up after one single little thing, or it could be the most tragic thing ever, even if it is the most tragic thing ever, if you give up in that current moment, then that just shows how bad or how much effort you were just willing to put in to get out of it. You are not willing to put in the most amount of hard work and effort to accomplish what you truly desire in life. Oh, let me stretch. You feel me? But listen, man. You're special, you're beautiful. And we are all angelic. We are all extensions of the divine. We are all beautiful. Anything is attainable and anything is in reach. There is no such thing as the impossible. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. That man Sunday is out, bro.